What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, just as a friendly little reminder, I just want to let you guys know there's going to be no live stream today as we do every single Sunday. But we will be resuming back up with the live stream starting up on Monday. If you don't know, we start up at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and we usually finish around 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And we do that every single day besides Sundays. And also, today, even though we're going to be talking about some Battlefield, once again, I'm going to be showcasing off some Call of Duty gameplay. More than likely, Black Ops 1, since I really enjoyed this game. And we got tons of clips yesterday on our Saturday stream which every single Saturday, if you guys want to tune into that stream as well, we literally play every single old school Call of Duty game known to mankind, baby. You already know it. Call of Duty 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, all of the greats, all of the OGs, we grind it all day long. So if you guys want to be a part of that, then by all means, go down in the description. I have links to not only just my Twitch channel, but I have links to my Twitter and my Discord there as well. But ladies and gentlemen, if you watched my video the other day, you probably already know my opinion about when it comes to the beanie in Battlefield 2042. Now... As we all know, my opinion for this is <laughs> pretty negative because, let's be real here, when it comes to content in Battlefield 2042, there's not much of it between weapons, uh, map selection, and also when it comes down to the cosmetics of our characters, there's barely anything to really dabble in when it comes to this game. I mean, you get your tier 1 skins, you get your skins for grinding up level, you know, just, just your base level of your character, level 1 through S tier. And then, of course, comes the weekly challenges, which we have been really hoping and praying that these challenges would bring some life to the game, or even encourage some individuals to, you know, want to come back and experience Battlefield 2042, but every single week they seem to get worse and worse and worse. I mean, the past few weeks, we've seen nothing but just weapon charms, and at that point, when we're just getting weapon charms in your game, when there's already not enough content in the game to begin with, people aren't going to be too happy. Even though this game is dying on a day-to-day -day basis, I mean, the player count is dropping drastically to the point where Battlefield 5 is just completely passing it up when it comes to numbers of players. Kind of depressing. But even though the numbers are low, there are tons of players who are still grinding it out. Well, not tons, but there's a handful of players <laughs> who are still grinding it out, playing the game, hoping for the best of the future, who are really relying on this weekly challenge to be good. Because, like I said... When there's nothing in the game to begin with, when there's nothing to be excited about in the future, knowing that no massive content updates or drops or even seasons are going to be coming until summertime, there's nothing to put forth effort into. And if people have been playing this game for a long time already, they're probably already S tier, they probably already have tons of tier 1 skins on their weapons and characters they are probably done tons of content. So the last hope for these people are the weekly challenges, and they gave us a beanie. Now... I thought this was just, you know, just disgusting, in my personal opinion, but little do I know, this is just pure laziness. To be honest, this whole time, I didn't even think of this, but this particular image has been circulating over the internet. Twitter, Reddit, wherever you can possibly think of, people have been talking about it. And apparently, the new weekly challenge for the beanie for Angel is pretty much a copy and paste of the original base Sundance model of Battlefield 2042. So the base skin of one of the characters that is already in the game, the beanie that is literally in the game already, <laughs> was basically <laughs> copied and pasted over to Angel's head, and they called it new content for a weekly challenge. You can call this anything you want. But to me personally, this is pure laziness. It's nothing but it. I don't know if the developers are too distracted over the future of this game and what direction they're trying to take for it, or they're trying to, you know, get all their minds together to make the future better for the franchise, but whatever is going on, there's no excuse for this. You have a specific team of individuals who are set aside for this exact reason, and you're telling me that you guys weren't able to put out anything better for a weekly challenge. You have hundreds of hundreds on top of hundreds of employees working for you guys. And you can't even get a team of five people to sketch a little design on the beanie? Put a different color on the beanie? Anything for the beanie? You're just going to copy and paste the same beanie and like make it a little bit more gray? You're telling me that the production of Battlefront 2, the end of Battlefield 5, and also taking multiple teams off their titles... Like, for example, Need for Speed, the developers of that game got completely stripped from the game just to come work on Battlefield 2042. You're telling me you brought all of these people in, 
and this is the content you're giving to us. After completely nuking your game, not just, you know, lightly messing it up. No, they destroyed Battlefield 2042. You're telling me after all of this stuff, this is what you're going to produce to the community. Now, part of me wants to believe that the reason the developers are being so lazy with making new skins and not making anything new is because of the current player count of the game. And they find it completely pointless to go ahead and really put out a really badass camo if the game is already dead. Like I said, the lowest player count of any Battlefield game right now is 2042. Battlefield 5 is more populated. Battlefield 1 is more populated. Battlefield 4 is more populated. Pretty much every single Battlefield game out there has more servers and more activity than Battlefield 2042. So my guess is maybe since they know the game is completely dead and nobody's playing it, why put out a weekly challenge that has something cool? You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be a waste of time. Only five people are going to unlock it. So why give out the best stuff now and just wait until later? And maybe the player count will obviously increase in the future. And then when the player count increases, there'll be more players playing and they'll put out more badass camos and more people unlock it, so on and so forth. I understand that. I do. But at the same time, wouldn't you want to impress the players who are already playing the game? Wouldn't you want to make the people who are grinding through this crap and who are actually allowing you to do this to them? You know, pretty much over half of the player base. No, all of the player base has already left this game, already shunned DICE, absolutely think they're an awful development team now, uninstall the title, and are demanding refunds. And they can't even get anything special in the game. You would think that DICE would want to convince them to stay. Give them good content. And then by seeing new good content, those individuals will tell their friends, and maybe those friends will tell their friends, and maybe those friends will tell family, and that family will tell friends of family, and they will tell their family. You see what I'm saying? He'll start a chain reaction of knowing that the game is still actually producing something good, which might possibly bring more players back into the circle and keep playing your game. But if all you're going to be doing is releasing this garbage, this repetitive crap, then not a single soul is going to return. And like I said, I do understand the strategy of going ahead and, you know, saving the best content for later when the game is populated. But the game is never going to get there. The game will never be populated for the good content if you just don't release anything good now. And to be honest with you, I don't think the community is ever going to forget this. And they'll probably never trust you again when it comes to putting in content into this game. You probably lost a lot of hardcore fans of 2042. And trust me, there were not many fans to begin with. And you more than likely just lost more. Because truly, how stupid... Do you think it makes them feel to come back to see that DICE is introducing new content and then they recognize that it's literally a copy and paste from something that is already in the game? It would have been a massive difference if you guys just made, you know, something garbage that wasn't in the game but just didn't look good. But no, you didn't. You just copied and pasted something into the game again. As a consumer of this game, it's insulting and honestly quite embarrassing knowing that, yeah, I spent money on this. Yeah, I actually hyped this game up. Yeah, I was excited for this game. And this is what they're releasing to the community right now, especially in such a drastic stage. Like I always say, you would think that DICE would be giving their 110% right now. They made a disaster. It's absolute crap. They're losing all their players. So you would think in a situation like this, they will literally crank up their knob up to max. They're going to try their hardest to get everybody back. They're going to give us all the coolest stuff they could possibly give us, give us the biggest updates. You would think they'll be on it, but it's the complete opposite. They released it like crap, and now they're pushing back content until summer, and the weekly challenges are getting worse and worse every single week. I... Uh... Man, I know this whole situation would be just so much easier if I didn't have my expectations set so high. But you have to understand, Call of Duty is a different story. You know, I'm a Call of Duty fan, but at the end of the day, the game releases every single year. So setting your expectations low isn't too rough because you get a game every single cycle. Battlefield games, they come out, what, every two to three years? There's a lot of time in between each title. So <laughs> it's a lot on the line here. And after spending so many years of being stuck in, you know, classic-styled games, World War I and World War II, I, and I believe a lot of the community, were so beyond ready to go back to modern day or near-futuristic, and we were just, we were set on something to be done. And with all the amazing advertisements for 2042, I mean, it convinced me, and it also convinced a lot of you guys as well, I mean, just look at the trailers, they have millions of likes, <laughs> they're just popping off. People were convinced that this was going to be it. Finally, after such a long wait, we are going to get the game that we all wanted. And then they released crap. And again, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it's going to be another game. It's still future. There's still more time. But again, I, like I said, we waited all this time. Almost six years we waited. And now we're going to have to wait even more. Now it's going to be near nine years until maybe we get a good game. I mean, how long? How much longer must we wait? 
But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, bonus, I hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat me, there's two ways to do so over Twitter and Discord, both are linked down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams on video games and over on Twitch, link that's in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.